Welcome you guys, this is Z Tutorials, and today I'm going to be showing you part 1 of a series that will guide you through how to easily create from scratch and upload a website to the internet for free. Now, by for free I am assuming that you already own a copy of Adobe Dreamweaver. If you do not have one, you will need to buy it for this series. That is what I'm going to be using to edit it. Now, first things first, we're going to go to freecsstemplates.org freecsstemplates.org and basically it's just going to give you a template so you won't have to create your own page from scratch and use all these tags that people don't really understand I find it hard enough to understand myself this way is much easier and it's just it does the same job basically if not a better one so you just go to browse all CSS and you just look through all these till you find the one you want and let's just pick one here right quick um, let's say you like spontaneous that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Spontaneous. So what you do is you download in .zip. Now you do need WinRAR for this or maybe 7-zip. So get that, that'll be in the description, everything's in the description, so just look at that. I'm going to drop this in the desktop and this is it, spontaneous. I'm going to right click and click extract here and as you can see these are the four that you will get. These are the four basic things that you will get. An images folder which holds all your images, a uh, style folder, an index, and a license. So what you're going to do is you're going to create a new folder and call it your website folder and you're going to drop them into it so everything will be in one place. Um, we're going to be using the index. So what you do is you basically go to Adobe Dreamweaver, open it up, this menu should come up here. If it doesn't, just go to File and Open. And you're going to click, you're going to open up where you saved it. So I saved it into Test Website on my desktop. I advise you to do the same, save it to your desktop so you'll always be there. Open it up and open up the index page. The index page, okay? So click to open that. And here is your t um, template. So right away we're going to start editing, we're going to get rid of this spontaneous and we're going to put in maybe your YouTube name. So, so put in Z Tutorials. Um, this is meant to be your slogan, put it what you want, I'll just put it as YouTube. Uh, you'll get these, that's your tabs and that's how people get to the blog, the photos, etc. I'll be showing you how to do all that and create forms, but that'll be later on. Uh, here we're going to have Welcome to My Website. Uh, write something about yourself there. Uh, maybe you want to say, Hi, this is Z Tutorials. Um, here I'm going to be showing you blah, 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 blah. Keep going on, write about you, what you want. Uh, here, once again, just write about what you want. I'm not really going to write anything there. Uh, you can all edit that yourselves, I'm sure. Um, here, write in whatever you want. I'm going to write um, YouTube. And down here, just highlight this and delete it. You won't need that. And we're just going to write, uh, click here to check out my YouTube channel. Uh, here again, you don't need all this. Just delete it. Um, <coughs> so when you've done all that, you're going to go to the tab section and you're going to just customize it basically to your taste. So maybe you want to put in what's new here and then tell all the people on your website what's what's new like um tutorial on Dreamweaver uh etc all that stuff you can put here videos you can have shop you can have whatever you want and then just write what you want there now go up here to title right here title and as you can see it says spontaneous by free ss templates now if I was preview to preview it in one of my browsers, save it, press yes, 
um, it's going to say right here spontaneous by free SSS templates now we don't want that because obviously people who know that you just got it free and all do you know you don't want people to know that so basically what you're just going to do is you're just going to highlight that and you're just going to put in maybe your YouTube name or whatever you want the name of your company Z Tutorials and then we're going to preview in Chrome sorry I forgot to save it uh, we're going to save that, file save or control s <coughs> and then you're going to preview in Chrome and as you can see here it says Z Tutorials instead of spontaneous by free CSS templates now another good thing about this is if someone wanted to save your website as a bookmark it'll just come up straight away as Z Tutorials instead of if someone was to save this one it'll come up as spontaneous by free CSS templates and you don't want that, you just want the your name your name or whatever you want and so we'll go back to Dreamweaver that's just tweaking you'll, you'll get used to that and basically what you're gonna do now is with the YouTube click here to check out my YouTube channel so we're gonna highlight this you can do this with anything by the way and you're just gonna click on the link this is where if someone clicks on this it'll link them to my youtube channel so i want to put in http colon forward slash forward slash you have to have that before then put whatever you want youtube dot com forward slash user forward slash z2 tutorials just copy whatever you want off your web browser if you don't want to put it in like that manually so then we're going to save that and we're going to press F12 to preview in browser and right here it says it's underlined and it's a link so when I click on that it's going to load the page and then here we go this is me Z tutorials very very easy now if you did notice there it, the page is gone I have to go back and I don't want that I want them to stay on my website and go to my YouTube channel so what you're gonna do there is you're gonna go back to this highlight where you highlight it again and right where it says target you're just gonna bring that down and click on blank underscore blank that just basically means that it'll open in a new tab that's all you need to know it'll open in a new tab so we'll save that again and we'll preview in browser now now here we all saw that when I clicked on this it loaded this page and it got rid of it but if I click on this one it'll open a new tab did you see that? this one's still there but they have my tab as well so they both my websites open pretty much it's very 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 handy uh, make sure you do that if you're linking to a different website so they'll stay on your website as well um, you don't want them to be just have yours as a one stop website and then go into the next one and liking that one better you want them to keep on your website as well so um that is all we're going to do today you can edit all this out edit what you want make sure you pick the CSS template you like um, I'm going to bring you through it step by step with a series and uh, in a few days I'll be posting part 2 which will show you how to make new web pages um, and personalize it more put in videos and pictures um, things like that and there'll be part 3 with put in contact forms and forums etc put in a shop all that kind of stuff so if you want to see the next one subscribe I'll bring you through the whole process at the end we'll be uploading it to a free web, web host and how to upkeep it and all that so make sure you stay tuned for that um, I hope you liked it you can check out my website that I built in about a day just messing around um, it's ztutorials.tk I'll be updating it daily. You can check that out yourself. It'll have all video tutorials in that as well. Um, make sure that you comment if you have a problem and I'll help you or comment to just tell me how great my tutorial was. And uh, hit the thumbs up button and of course subscribe.